Hi guys, salut tout le monde. We've been posting some pictures on our Instagram about the riots in Paris. And some of you were really shocked and didn't really know what was going on. And some of you wanted us to explain you a little bit what is going on in France. I have to start with a disclaimer first. I'm absolutely not an expert on politics or anything like that. I've done my research to not mess up. Also, if there's anyone watching who knows more, feel free to correct me if I make any mistakes. I will also leave a lot of links down in the descriptions. Uh, but yeah, this is just a video to answer all of your questions. So it all starts with the rise of the gas taxes. And the idea behind that is to make people want to buy a newer car and electric cars or to take their bikes, uh, take the metro buses. The idea behind that is to help the environment. But people are tired of the tax increase, so they started blocking roads and tolls, just protesting peacefully wearing those yellow jackets. But what's crazy is that these peaceful kind of protests led to becoming big riots, as you have seen, with like burning cars all over France. They're saying that they are the biggest riot since like May 68, when all the students were rioting in France. So what are the problems and the issues? The people are saying that the government is once again taking money from the working class who is already struggling. Taxing those cars and that type of gas is a direct threat to the working class. And also those cars are the only one they can really afford. Some people in France totally depend on the cars to be able to go to work, to school, to the hospital, like anywhere. They're pretty isolated sometimes. The people we see in the streets are mainly people from the forgotten France, as we say, la France oubliée. So from that money they are collecting from the gas taxes, apparently only 20% is going to procedures, I guess, to help the environment, which is making people even more angry. At the same time, they voted to stop the increase of retirement pensions. And since Macron has been president, they been cutting a lot of taxes to the wealthiest population in France and to corporations. For example, there's a really famous tax in France called ISF, l'ISF, l'impôt sur la fortune, and it's a special tax for the wealthiest people in France, and Macron has totally removed that tax. So yeah, there's a lot of subject that has been brought up, but that gas tax was kind of the trigger and start of the conversation. The problem is that Macron is really seen as someone very arrogant and totally disconnected from the people. He said on some occasions that French people were very lazy, very difficult with change and I don't know, he, he's been like saying pretty bad stuff about the population that elected him. We can see people from all over France, from the far left movement to the far right movement. It's mainly people from the working class saying that there's a big disconnect between the people and the power. But one thing unites them is that they're all disagreeing with Macron's politics. And no, people are not chanting, we want Trump. That is not what is happening. So what's interesting about this movement is that it's very different. It has no political affiliation, no official leader, and it's all kind of orchestrated through social media. The traditional media is not representing the movement really well. So if you want information about what people think and say and do during those protests, I would really recommend to go check out Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook typing hashtag Gilets Jaunes. That's really how we can get a lot of information. So personally, I didn't go to the protests. So I can't really tell you what happened because I didn't see it through my eyes. But I did look more into it through videos and social media and what people have witnessed around me. They say that at first it was pretty peaceful and the police started becoming more violent, getting kind of rough uh, towards 
the protesters who were sometimes, you know, like old, uh, retired, like people or, you know, like normal people, not just the cliche young guy here to destroy the city and burn everything. That's not how, what it was at first. So yeah, it, it sparked anger in people and since then, like, the big riots started. And a lot of people have been injured, a lot of policemen and a lot of protesters. The police uses something called flash bull, which I didn't really know what it was, but I think it's kind of a rubber bullet. Flash bull is the brand, I guess, of the gun. And a lot of people have been injured by that because they're... I don't think they're, the police is supposed to shoot that at the head level, it's supposed to be like maybe lower and a lot of people like receive that in like in their head and yeah it, it's just pretty bad <laughs> like they got really badly injured by those like rubber bullets yes a lot of shops have been destroyed banks cars roads like even monuments like the arc de triomphe the protests happen in different locations around paris even on the champs elysees where they never go usually but don't think that for example paris because that's where i am don't think that paris is like under fire and terror <laughs> personally i wasn't that far from the riots it definitely wasn't in it or near i wasn't like two streets away but i wasn't far from the riots and I can tell you I didn't see anything. The riots mainly happened on certain streets and squares. So it's better to like not go to those specific places. So yeah, don't worry, Paris is still safe. <laughs> as long as you don't go in the middle of the riot where they are fighting, you're gonna be fine. And also a lot of people who did protest didn't get hurt, so... It's, it's all right. I know it looks crazy and it looks really dangerous on images because you see like burning cars and etc. But yeah, the situation is, is okay. Let's talk about the response of the government. For now, it's the prime minister uh, did a speech and he <laughs> didn't really acknowledge what people were asking for. He just said that they are going to freeze the tax increase for six months so it's not gonna change but it's just not gonna happen in Ju in january it will happen next summer so a little update uh the whole video you saw i filmed it before macron's speech so i have a little update now macron finally made a speech like about three weeks after the beginning of all those protests and riots he said he has heard everyone stories and complaints but that he still wouldn't uh, cancel the tax increase because it's way too important for, for the environment. He also suggested that the minimum wage should uh, increase and that the tax on the wealthiest French people would not come back. He also said a lot of other things. I would really recommend you go check out the videos about his speech. I will leave some links down in the description. I wouldn't want to forget any information or mistranslate uh, anything, so it's best if you go check it out. Okay, back to the video now. Let's talk about the future of the movement. So we don't really know what is going to happen, but it will certainly continue in January and I would say in my taken a different form, it might evolve in something different. People are way too angry to just stop and just forget everything. But there are still unanswered questions. Who will represent this movement? Is there someone who will ever represent this movement? Like one politician and one political party? Will the government answer differently this time and bring actual change to the decision they made before? And is Macron's presidency at risk? I mean, everyone in the street is, who is protesting is chanting Macron démission, Macron démission. It means Macron resignation. So someone asked, what is the current scenario in France? Another update. So <laughs> Macron made his speech and it looks like people are still not agreeing and happy with what he said. The pressure is still on the working class and so they are not agreeing with what he suggested. The protest will probably still continue. Macron did, however, open 
a space or a time frame to have conversations about bringing new solutions to help like <clears throat> the environment. So we'll see what we'll have soon. Um, do you guys still live a normal life or you guys have a holiday because of the riot? No, for us, everything is normal. When it comes to students in high school and university, uh, some schools have been like blocked by some students who are protesting. So I guess some students like cannot really go to school or can't go to exams. But when it comes to work, everything is normal. When it comes to Paris, the metro line is normal. During the week, everything, everything is okay, everything is normal. It's just on Saturday when there's that huge riot, a lot of the metro stations were closed and some restaurants and shops were closed too, just to barricade and to <laughs> put um, wooden boards and really close the storefronts just to not get any damages. Uh, another question is why are they wearing yellow vests? So that's because uh, we have to have them in every car. It's, it's for safety. So for example, if we have an accident, we have to wear this vest when we go check on the car and we are on the side of the road. It was just, a, I think, an easy thing to have. Everyone has that yellow vest and it represents the cars and the subject of the protest. Uh, someone is asking where we are living, Charlie and me. We are in Paris, uh, we are in France. So someone else is asking, I'm interested in that subject, I'm planning to move to France and this issue is really relevant. So as I said earlier, don't worry, like nothing is, I mean, it's not dangerous or anything. It's just that some taxes are increasing if Macron doesn't decide to make other decisions. Is it safe to come to Paris, plan the trip there on March, but concerned? So <laughs> don't worry, Paris is still very safe. The riots only happened on Saturdays and it's not all over Paris, like I didn't see anything but because I didn't go in the middle of the riot, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go look for trouble, you know. But I, outside of the riots, like, everything was pretty normal and okay. I think until March, things will calm down. The movement will maybe be different. And yeah, Paris is still pretty safe. So yeah, thank you so much for your questions. I hope this video kind of helps you understand what is going on with the yellow vest, les gilets jaunes. So if there's anything I said wrong, or if there's anything I forgot, feel free to write in the comments below. Also, if you're interested, feel free to check out our Patreon page. We have a private Facebook group chat with our Patreons. If you like our project, feel free to help us over there. Okay, so I hope this video helped to understand the situation a little bit better, and see you next time. Bye bye, salut!